Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary with me, Jalanon, Lunar Nebula Gaming. We are still exploring all this stuff in the Stronghold Dungeon, looking for those archives. Slash another way into the ancient woods, potentially. Uh, since I may have locked myself out from the way I found, uh, other than the, just the easy way. We can always take the easy way, but psh, where's the fun in that, right? So yes, we can keep making Chewy pretty good as well. Hmm. I think we do want health proc on Chewy. The healing shield. Yeah, let's get that though, since he's mostly a tank. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you don't have a skill point. You, I'm trying to make fiery. Fiery and sporish, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. So let's get a level three ability on ignite. And then I think we do want Domin's R at some point. Um, but right now, we'll, we'll take the higher level skill. Let's go under here, because I'm sure... Ha ha ha, we can outsmart them. But also, let's get in a fight. That's right. If only that did extra damage before combat, but does. No, it does not. Um, we take more wind damage. We don't really have that many good ways to do good wind damage. So we'll just... Do our normal teamwork. Making the dream work. We'll get rid of your armor. And then we could do Ice Hail here. That's probably the best. Try to get rid of the Mad Eye with some crits. Ah, oh, so close. So close. It's so far. And thus, we have inflamed the eye's iron. Hmm. Well, I think we go with power. Yeah. Then we can Acid Bolt or Arcane Bolt. I'm combining the two. And Claws level 3 looks like it has a pretty good chance. Eh, a decent chance. Okay. Looks like we'd need to crit every attack. Blavicus is taking a little bit more damage than I had thought. So close. Hmm. Let's go for the KO. And then hopefully one Toxiquus will not be enough. To defeat our glory! There we go. There we go. It's probably a three star. Three star. Okay. Still haven't gotten an egg from those yet. Unfortunate. Um, anything else over here? No obvious way to jump up here. Yeah. Nope. We continue moving on. Hmm. I may need my sonar. Because it's a little dark in here. Hello. Oh, so many useless voices. Where is that book of history? That strange person wears the same kind of clothes as the alchemist we saw in the Blue Caves. I sense that this person didn't come here with good intentions. We might have to fight his team of monsters to apprehend him. In that case, the same rules apply as for regular keeper duels, except there's more on the line than usual. Oh, what a surprise. A keeper of monsters. Hey, that wouldn't happen to be a spectral familiar, would it? What if I am a spectral familiar? How marvelous. Not only a keeper of monsters, but a keeper of spectral familiars as well. Oh my. This one seems really strange. I have a bad feeling. Wow, I didn't expect the library to be this big, and the books are in pretty good quality too. Oh wait, that's another one of the alchemists. Oh, what a blessed day. We came in search of old books, and instead we found two keepers of spectral familiars. We... What is that supposed to mean? Hey, Velalar! What's happening in here? Are we having a party? Not as such, Chimes. Even though there might be cause for celebration very soon. Much like the sound of your name, Chimes. Yeah, I see. Two spectral keepers, huh? The master will be quite pleased with us. <laughs> These two are both really creepy. We should be careful. Hey, what do you people want? We're not afraid of you. That's good. It gives us a surprise advantage. You take care of the other one, Valala. I want this one. Looks like it's time to fight. We shouldn't lose this one. That's right. Hopefully not. So you will probably start with the Monk, Glowfly, and Nightwing. With extra fire damage, I think we go Chewy, Frosty, Moody. Because we have some good fire attacks. Uh, we will glory in our power. And then we could shield, we could full offense. I think let's get safe cast so we can get the barrier first. 
Also, good music. Go to the right. Damage, though. I'm glad we did the barrier first. Hmm. Did they take some of my mana from Chewy? Hmm. Okay, well, we already have channel, don't we? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So we have channel already. Hmm. It looks like my Ice Hail should do more damage still. So we'll do that. The Nightwing has the least health. So I think we go for the Nightwing. Yeah. And then we have Chilling Wind. Good Ice Hail. Is my Ice Hail more damage? Huh. Okay. Apparently to the bat it is more damage. We already did safe cast. We can do full offense. We can also do shield. We would gain some shields out of it. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. We have a bleed debuff, but we can kind of ignore that. Ignite the bat! Burn in the night's fire. Alright. This is just very good. Okay. Ice hail. Level 2. Still seems better against Nightwing, even though I think it dodges magic attacks better. Hmm. We'll still try. Okay. Good. And then... I could do another shield. I don't think I have Might and Sorcery. So let's put that on you. And then we can ignite things, we can voltify things. Spore. Hmm, I would like to spread the debuffs, wouldn't I? Let's spread them. Oh, I also got a shock. Okay. So yes, it's taking time to heal itself instead of doing cool things. Good. Nice, excellent. Alright, then... We'll keep working on this one. But the more debuffs we can get on this first team, the better prepared we will be to deal with all three of these as he, like, siphons in... One new one is my theory. It's a game theory. Uh, shield. I don't need safe cast anymore. Ice Hill still seems better for some reason. Oh, but we do get chill off of Chilling Wind, of course. Hmm. I think we do that to you. Chill. Excellent. Okay. We can get more voltage. We can get some weakness debuffs as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Make the monk a lot worse at its job. Here we go. Unless they cleanse our debuffs, we should be much better able to deal with this. Uh, and then I want to be able to life wave soon, so let's go to level 1 Ice Hail. We'll go for Nightwing. And then I could shield again. No reason not to, really. Unless I want to KO the Nightwing, which I want to be better prepared still. Let's do this. Hmm. Let's get... Yeah, you don't have Shock yet, so... Let's put Shock on you. Yes. Okay. And then it died to debuffs. Good. Okay, glad we have our shield. And then we should be able to Life Wave. That should also give us a bit of a shield, thanks to our skill that we just got on Chiri. Let's get some chilling wind in here. Yes. And then we can ignite for some burn debuffs and damage. Oh, it got cleansed. Unfortunate. So we do want to take out the glow bug. The glow wind. Hmm. I still have all this stuff, right? Channel. Glory. Hmm. Okay. Do I want to... I think I want to do Ice Hail level 1 still. So we'll do that. And we'll try to go for the Glow Fly. Yeah. Okay. I guess I will Chilling Wind the Glow Fly as much as I want my other stuff. Let's do this. And then I don't think I've burned it yet. So yes. That seems like a good plan. Okay. It almost died to that. It just used Restore, so it's 
getting rid of some of its debuffs. Unfortunate. Okay, that's bad for Chewy. Chewy cannot life wave. Unfortunate. Um, let's let's try to work on the glow fly. And then I have choices. I can shield. Yeah, I think we go ahead and do it. I'd like to do more damage. Spore would deal more damage? Okay. Unless it dodges everything. Okay, so we can't really do enough to take out the Glowfly, so I think we leave that to our other team if we have to swap in anybody else. So let's go for the Mad-Eye. Okay, Chilling Wind. Full offense is still up. We have too many things we haven't been able to pull out. Basically, we're getting debuffed in return, and I don't like it. I don't like one bit. So, let's go ahead and voltage you. Get some shock on there as well. And then you restore the map. Well, now the glow bug's being smart. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't think we need anything else other than Life Wave would be great. 36. This costs 24, so we'll do this. So hopefully we get enough regen. Do I shield again? I think I need to. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had voltage. We can spore, we can ignite. Let's try to get the ignite. Okay. And then, of course. Okay! Hmm. Huh. I do not have the damage with this team yet. Clearly. Okay, well, Life Wave. At least we can pretty much survive everything. Hmm. We've already done that. Let's give everybody full offense. That's one thing I haven't been doing. Also, I haven't been sharing the love with the monk yet. They're getting the age stacks. That's not great for us. Because if our new guys come in, I can't remember if they get the H stacks or not. Hmm. I'd like to take out the Glowfly, but I think we might have to spread the damage. I think that's the best thing I can do. So that it can't get rid of everything at once. I think it can only restore on one person at a time. Okay, and now it's given up, hopefully. Uh, not great. Okay, so who do I swap in for my tanky boy? I think Vero, actually? Because we can get to uh, team play. Get some extra hits on our magic attacks. And then... We got chill on you, chill on you. We got chill on everything. Hmm. Do I shield more? I don't think I need to right now. Barrier and channel... Do you have barrier? You do not, right? You do. Okay. So you got that for free when you popped in. So we will just... Chilling Wind. Let's see if we can't take down the Mad-Eye. I'm hoping... Uh, if we got criticals, we could. I don't think we have the burn right now. I could Acid Rain. Okay, well, the sidekick... Oh, we got very close, and then... Start. But it looks like we can do it if we all focus on it. Especially if I swap in, yeah, somebody else new. Like, uh, Luna, our attacker. Okay. So, let, we could do power, but I think if we just focus down, that might be best. Is Ice Hail better here? It is. Okay. So now we have an actual attacker. <laughs> Since Mad Eye is not quite at the level he needs to be yet. So let's do this. Okay. But the age stacks are stacking up heavily. Luna could go down any second here. Okay. So could everyone. Really? Alright. We could Acid Rain. He's still got a backup monster, and I don't. We need a healing wave. That's cool. Claws. We could take out Cat Circer. I'm most interested in trying to take out this Glowfly. 
for might do it. Okay, good. Good. We got it. Alright. So, I guess the trick is to start with my stronger team earlier. Because the these age stacks are significant. And then we can have our tankier team get the age stacks, maybe? But... Yeah, well, we're not doing so hot here. Okay. Well, that happened. Hmm. Well, let's try with the other team first. If I need to, I can take a look at items and things. But I think that Glowfly was just enough of a counter to Moody's debuffs. That if we can take it out first with my other team, we can do stuff. Also, we can just hold escape to skip. There we go. So, all right. Let's try Vero, Blavicus, and Moody. We'll try this. Let's go for our main combo. Acid rain on the glow fly. Okay, armor break. It's using rejuvenate. So it's not getting rid of the armor break yet. Power. Since I went first, I only had two abilities to use there. Uh, I could use healing wave or just normal heal. Let's just normal heal. Claws level 3 is pretty close to taking out the Glowfly if it hits. That evasion, though, is really annoying. Okay. Huh. So we've got everybody, everything. Let's keep going for the Glowfly. Because if we can get it down, Moody will wreck everything else later. I think it's important enough that I leave Blob kind of in the lurch here. Uh, we need to crit everything, I think. And no. Okay. So that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, what do I do here? I think we take Moody. And we just focus fire as much as we can. Try to ignite. Shock might have been better with Claws, but I wasn't sure we'd even hit. Whereas this will always deal Ignite. Oh, chose to attack instead of heal itself. Good for us, its mana was too low to worry about it, it looks like. Uh, now I can worry about getting Sidekick on everybody, or I could try... No, we need to make sure everybody's got everything they need. Let's get Voltage. Let's see. You know what? I think it would be best... What is our cheapest way to kill this guy? I guess Spore or Ignite? Let's use Spore. Okay, cheapest way done. And then we can Ice Hail and Chill, hopefully, the Monk. Okay, there we go. Got some Chill in there. Got some Chill Pills. Okay, okay. So yeah, this I think will go better now that it can't restore from debuffs. Uh, so let's see. Got sidekick up. Let's get power. That might help enough. Hmm. Weakness debuff. Let's get that on you. Yep. We got the weakness now. Uh, then let's get the chill on their version of Moody. The weaker version. Okay. The monk. Okay, that was pretty insane. Hmm. Let's go for Nightwing here. Because it's so evasive. Um, we can take out Mad-Eye pretty easily. I think I just do that while I can. Yeah. I think if I do it Ice Hail level 1. Well, what's the best use of your chill here? Probably trying to hit Nightwing then. Okay. That was pretty good. I'm surprised we haven't lost Luna yet. They're kind of doing the exact same thing I was doing. Uh, now we can put in Chewy or Frosty. Frosty can give everybody shields, but Chewy can tank 25% of the time, so that's... yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go for their Mad-Eye. Okay, and then we will go for Shield. And what do we want? And when do we want it? We'll do this. 
Okay, so now they have to switch in. They won't get any age stacks, I think, since they've had to switch in new monsters as well. So I'm probably closer to getting age stacks if I can survive. You know, just a little, little thing there about surviving. <laughs> um, who's most likely to do a lot of damage? Probably Cat Circer, because we don't have the chill on the other guy yet. So let's ignite Cat Zerker. The fire within. And now we can try to check. Okay. Sort of worked. Oh, the pain. Oh, the punches. Okay, oh, the Chewy. Save us, please. Uh, we'll try to charge up Chewy's heal. I think that's our best bet right here. Okay. And we can voltage. We could also make you weaker in case you survive all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, life wave. Probably the best thing we can do. And then glory cast, so then we can get more mana reach in. Would be nice. For mana. Okay. But now we're getting the age stacks. Okay. I'm liking it. Channel to whole party versus waiting for glory cast. Um, let's go ahead and channel. Let's go ahead and do it. I think that's worthwhile enough. Airsicle, probably not good enough. We'll go ahead and beat up the cat. That's right. The bird rules this roost. Let's see. Spore does a lot on you. Sure. That. They are recovering quite a bit more health than I'd like. That's probably from the monk, huh? Let's get sidekick up on Chewy in case Chewy gets to attack. Try and get some lightning in here. Yep. Okay, Chewy. It looks like Ice Hail might do more damage, huh? It also costs less, so we'll do it for that reason at the moment. Level 1 versus level 2. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm trying to see, can I get a heal? I'm 6 mana short of a heal. Okay. Let's do Ice Hail at level 1 then, and we should be able to do our Life Wave next time. Like night crackle night. Oh, you're getting more powerful every time we hit you. Oh. Okay, well that could be bad, uh, but I'm hoping we destroy the monk here. There we go. Okay, so that's good. You're still healing, huh? Okay. Well, two can play a bad game. Let's then get some attacks in. That's right. Mm, we've already got ignite. Let's do this. And then this should win. Yes! That's right. Okay. So, getting rid of the guy who could cleanse the debuffs was pretty important to our strategy there. Ooh, we got a reward box. <laughs> looks like I was getting ahead of myself. I won't be so careless next time. Oh, it looks like Chimes was more successful than me. Perhaps that could be a celebration after all. Enjoy your books. We have something more valuable than this whole library. Huh, why didn't I stop him from running away? But she even unlocked Dungeon Master. That was odd. We should check on Will. Will! I can't believe it. How could this happen? How could they do this? I've never heard about something like this happening. I think something really wrong happened. His monsters were just too powerful. I lost against him. But I don't understand what happened afterwards. It just makes no sense. No matter how many times I go over it in my head, my familiar is gone. It has just disappeared after I lost the battle. My own father gave me my familiar. I brought shame on my entire family. We understand your sorrow, Will, but your familiar can't be gone forever. We are immortal, after all. Nothing can really harm us. Toad will be fine, I can promise you that. All of us familiars have been alive for longer than we can even remember. You're right. Thank you. Don't forget that we came here for a reason. We can't let it be in vain because of this loss. Yes, the library. That's at least something, isn't it? Maybe it's not so bad. Whatever happened, I have to find a way to reverse it. We will find it together. If they attack one of us, they attack all of us. Right, Jalon? Wolf back, wolf back. Thank you. That is good to know. But I know my strengths, and research is what I'm best at. So I'll be sifting through these books if it's all right with you. It'll give me time to think. Meet me back at the regular library in the Keeper's Stronghold later. Okay. 
I hope that he'll be all right. It must be devastating for him. But it is really considering that they are able to do this sort of thing. I'm less worried about us familiars and more worried about the sanctuary itself. Who knows what the alchemists are planning. We should meet up with Will at the library and the Keeper's Stronghold later. Or, you know, immediately. After we check- No, oh, I need a new power. Okay. Well, eventually we will be able to shrink and go through there, but not right now. So back to the Stronghold we go, and I think I used my only little Keeper Shard thing, so... Goblet plus three, you say? Hmm. And another reward box. Medallion. Defense plus ten, crit damage plus ten percent. Mana region plus eight. Hmm. Well, okay. Interesting. I could do a skill potion now if I wanted to, but I don't really feel the need to. Uh, Frosty, we should probably just get you level three of Chilling Wind, because we can. And I know we're going to get at least level four of Chilling Wind. Yeah. Okay. Wait, did I skip somebody else's skills? No, we're good. So back to the wonderful monster sanctuary. Oh, we will go. Do, 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 do. Charge. But I guess you don't need to be here, dear viewer. So I will be back in a moment. All right, dear viewer, we are back at the monster sanctuary and about to talk to Will again. Hey, I've just been thinking about some things. It feels so strange not to have my spectral familiar around anymore. Your familiar won't be gone for very long, Will. We're on to the alchemists. Don't forget what I told you. They attack one of us, they attack all of us. Thank you. That means a lot to me to know that you and Jalanon will help me. And I still have my other monsters as well. Just because I don't have my spectral familiar anymore doesn't mean I stop being a monster keeper. I just know that my spectral toad would want me to continue as a monster keeper. So I will continue traveling the sanctuary and searching for more hints about the alchemists. Sounds good, Will. We wish you good luck for your travels. I did find some information in one of the books, though. So around 300 years ago, the ancient order of alchemists came to the sanctuary after they were banished everywhere else. They somehow managed to break through the sanctuary's magical barrier and enter the sanctuary. Eventually, they revealed themselves to the monster keepers. The leader of the alchemists, Marduk, made a grand speech, trying to appeal to the monster keepers. He spoke of pushing back against those that had pushed them all into the sanctuary. With the combined power of the monster sanctuary and the alchemists, they would be able to conquer the old world. However, most of the monster keepers were unwilling to start a war against the old world. As the current keeper master put it, the sanctuary was all that they needed, and there was no reason for bloodshed. They allowed the alchemists to stay regardless, which was a mistake, considering that they got pushed out of every other party they attended. You know, the alchemists were bitter and angry about the fact that they were constrained to live in the monster sanctuary. In times of old, they used to practice their craft for the kings of the old world, earning plenty of riches and fame for their order. Still, you know, they were out there welcome. The alchemists plotted a conspiracy and gathered monster keepers around them that aligned with their worldviews. In their view, monsters were nothing but a tool to be used to regain the power they once had in the old world. Luckily, the alchemists got caught before they could spring their plan into action. The monster keepers believed that they put an end to the ancient order of alchemists. However, the leader of the alchemists, Marduk, was never found. There were rumors that Marduk had found a way to gain immortality for himself. So perhaps he is still around somewhere in the sanctuary. It says that he always wore a devil mask. That's all I could find. Perhaps if we find more alchemists, we can get more information from them. Also note that Marduk, if I remember correctly, was like the king of the gods in Babylonian mythology. And for a dude to call himself Marduk, that's probably pretty egotistical. Just, you know, a little, little factoid. All right then. So that is done. Hmm. We could go to the blacksmith and stuff. I think, honestly though, it's like, we're probably going to keep finding more stuff that we don't need to really worry about upgrading. Like, we can give the orb to you. Or to Moody. You know what? I should give the orb to Moody. That would help. Yeah. 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 So, I could upgrade everything, but once again, I think we're going to get enough drops that it won't matter. Uh, the only problem being... That will mean I'm not quite as tough as I might like to be. Hmm. I think we go with Goblet plus two on you. Or Medallion, because that's also some mana region. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And so on and so forth. So, next time, dear viewer, we are going to go into the Ancient Wounds, which should be right across from us over here. Hello again. So yeah, I think all we need to do is go straight over and we should be there. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the Keeper Battles within Monster Keeper. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below. 
on what you think of Monster Keeper so far. And by Monster Keeper, I mean Monster Sanctuary. I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.